Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I think in the last episode, I may have promised a boss room. Let's see what bosses we have. We have a cove, we have a ruins, we have a warrens, and we have a wield. We have all of them. Uh, they're all level 3. So we have level 4 characters that we're prepared to take on such a mission. Um, the cove I'm wary of. It would be good to take Murray with the Blight and the Bleed Heal. Probably be good to take... Well... Any uh, healer will do. Obviously Pete will level up if we take Pete. So what I think I might like to do for that is wait for Zeki to level up. In fact, we can probably afford to send Zeki off to somewhere for stress relief now. Because we have, we have a bit of cash from the last few missions. Somehow we've managed to make it to week 66 even though it's only episode 59 or so. Uh, so well done us. Uh, that's probably from running away. It takes a week to run away. Run away. It takes a week to run away. I felt like uh, Christopher... Christopher, whose name I can never remember, you know, played Fester and Doc Brown and all them. Great Scott Murray. So just just don't, don't do that. So if we take Murray... Uh, Maybe we should try something like the Wield. A Brigand 12 pounder. So we're going to need a lot of uh, high DPS, basically. We're not going to be able to poison the cannon with Marie. And I seem to recall that taking a uh, Vestal on... Not a Vestal. Uh, yeah, Hellion on that mission is a great idea because it means you can kill the uh, Fusilier to stop him from being able to explode the cannon and ruin everyone's life. Forever. I think that's what killed the original Dutch, in fact. So, maybe we just try this one again. We take Brian, we take Marie, and then we take a decent amount of DPS. So we'll put Marie in the third position. Maybe we take... We don't want to take Doug here, because we want them to be able to go to the wheels to beat the... the cannon to help us with the cannon because the iron swan attack is extremely powerful for exactly that. Unfortunately, we want to be able to put someone in, well Pete has to go in the third position actually, we wouldn't have to. Uh, weird reconstruction is a, a, rear, um, a rear position action but we don't really have anyone of good DPS who can be at the front, nor do we really have anybody who is good against the profit because both uh, the Crusader and the Leper really only hit the front two um, the front two positions, which are going to be those pews. That being said, um, we do have Zealous Accusation, which could tr possibly bring those down a little bit faster. Um, and it also means that we have two units that we can try and tank the falling damage with. Um, you have got Bulimic. Which is okay. It's only while camping. We will be camping once. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, but, I mean, last time we tried this, we got a little bit owned very quickly. I'm hoping that having the the blight skills of Marie here, plus the ability to hit a lot of things. Have you got Hugh? Yes. So we want that. Just wondering if... Um, it's a good idea to use some of these on the boss. Or maybe switch around, I don't know. What's this? Abomination thing. That could be good to have. Let's try it. Uh, actually, we want trinkets first. Pull all trinkets back. Aye, aye. You bet you were thinking, I'd forgotten these trinkets. It's not going to take any trinkets. Well, no siree, Bob. We are taking trinkets, and I have remembered. Now, I want you to have some plus prot. Is 5% a good amount? Maybe. But I also want you to have more... More stress damage is probably not great, but we will be camping. Or maybe I can just give you straight up a, a protection stone. Like, that's the same amount of protection as this. And it actually has an almost equivalent debuff. Like, speed is... It's probably a, a more proportionally large debuff speed compared to a percentage crit, but at the same time... It's probably less of a big deal. 
don't know. <clears throat> is there likely to be stuns there? That's a good question. Possibly. Let's try this. Because you've got the healing and the damage, so you're basically frontline DPS. You're going to take the usual pair of this and probably the 15% one? I don't know. Can we cope with having you have the extra stress from a uh, 30% one? I mean, it's really good, but the 20% stress damage is really bad. You start off with nothing. I think we'll risk it. We can always run away once more. Uh, I'd rather not. But I may. <coughs> Heck. Heck this. I need to stop coughing. Um, disease resist. Stun skill chance, maybe. Enlightened. We'll only meditate. That's fine. Maybe that's good. I want sort of a blight skill chance, really. Do we have such a thing? I'm not sure. Let's go by rarity. So these are all the ones we can use. Or speed. That could be good. Hmm. Less stress damage and less death blow resist. Interesting. I don't really know that we've got what we need in this set. What is wrong with my voice, though? <coughs> Come on now. Ah, uh, blah. <laughs> Stun, death blow, virtue. Range skills, maybe more accuracy is the, the thing we go with here. Blight resist and bleed resist. More damage in general. Less dodge. Versus Eldritch. I think it's human. I think it's just straight up human. I think it's human. I guess we find out. Let's not press embark. I nearly clicked on this because I thought it, was, thought it was provision, but it, it was not provision, no. We'll make sure that we don't have to rely on finding things that we need. Again, when it's a boss run, not too concerned about collecting money. And I'm not too concerned about bringing, bringing things back. I'm more concerned that we stay alive. Damn it. We... I mean, we've got Marie, who can heal us if necessary. Everyone sort of has an ability to heal and an ability to attack, which I think might actually be to our benefit. It could, of course to our disbenefit. We'll find out. I think this seems good. Let's go. This raving creature had to be silenced. But doing so proved maddeningly impossible. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters, and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back? How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? We've heard the that before. <clears throat> we may hear it again. It depends how well this goes. Actually. So, we'll be going here. It's quite a long way. We've not been too lucky with the layouts of these dungeons so far. But I'll uh, just step on, I suppose. This could be good. Great. More damage until camp. That's a very good thing. Uh, 90, 90, 90, 100. Marie, you're up. Well, that trap required more than 100%. What's the point in it being a percentage? That's my question. I don't mind that it's, you know, a roll X against Y, but why call it a percentage if it's not going to be a percentage likelihood? I know not. Play a grenade these. What the hell is this thing, though? We've seen this before. We have not seen this before, so we don't know what it can do. You. I'm tempted to just get you to heal up Marie, but I think we can wait a turn, maybe. Try and get some damage on these jokers. That's okay, that's a decent amount. Five damage around. I always forget quite how good Marie's uh, ability there is. Hue, Intimidate. Less damage, less accuracy. Oh, you got a lot of prop. We could just chop the shit out of this and hope for the best. Uh, we'll kill it if we hit it. I think... There's a 1 in 5 chance of being missed, which didn't happen, but it did leave a corpse, which is not ideal. 
We could do the same to that, I guess. Ooh. I mean, it's a bad start, but it's not a horrendous start, right? Leap? No leap. That's fine. We might have to start thinking more about our... Um, our buffs. We don't tend to use buffs nearly as effectively as I think they could be used. Which is fairly true in general. Two to three... What are you on here? Mm -hmm. We can clear all corpses, which is nice, but... I think what we try and do is play grenade here. Basically ensure that they die, which did happen. They're both on ten, yep. So now we can use Pete to reconstruct... Marie. Twenty. Excellent. Don't forget, Pete's going to be stressing out faster than everybody else. So somehow we need to make sure this unit doesn't get as good a go as it could. I don't know what it can hit. That's the real question. Well, it's not a question, but it it implies a question, and that's the real question. Can we just chop it? We could kill it. We perfectly killed it. That was actually a really good idea. Um, I think here maybe we battle heal someone. It's like it's two to two. We get two. But you get bonus to heals anyway, so I might get more. A crit of six, yeah, really good. I mean, it tops you off. It was basically ideal. Not completely ideal, obviously, we would like to have healed Psycho as well, but you can't win them all. I will not open this, and the reason being, I don't know if it can hurt me. I don't really need to fill up the pack. Let's do it. It's completely empty. That's fine. Let's head ever onwards. Of course, we're going to be camping before too long. No traps, please. Uh, approximately a trap. Surprised? No. I do dislike that they have such high speed. It's a very high speed. Look, nine. And attacking Pete there is the worst of the options, but it is what it is. Um. So that was a move that it tried to do. Apparently it failed to, unless it moves backwards and there's nowhere to go, but I don't know. Noxious Blast. I suppose we try and weaken this one. I'm sure that it's blighted. Now we get the opportunity to heal Psycho. 46! You don't have that much HP! I love it. As long as we can do that and no one just takes several hits in a row, which can happen and is basically why we ran away from the last uh, the last fight of this ilk. Well, Hugh here, I think. Yeah, really good. Um, then we can basically keep up the heals with Pete if he's going to keep doing that. Which he may, if he wishes. Like, these two units literally can't hit anything at the back. Like, past the first two positions, it's Makes it difficult to hit that one, so now I think about it, maybe I should have focused on that one, but uh, it's not that big a deal. I think we smite this one, because the other one's definitely dead as a result of its, deep, uh, its DPS, uh, DOT. DPT? So we're going to have to heal Marie. This is uh, getting a bit crazy, but it's working. It wasn't a perfect heal, but that's fine, I think. Maybe we do this, because it does clear all corpses. And if we can't kill this one on this go, yeah, now we've got the chance that it just doesn't even get a go on the next turn. So yeah, we may not kill it. We may actually just straight up kill it with Brian here. If we chop. It is chopped. But it was worth stunning it just in case. That's a lot of food, actually, for that. So I'm going to eat some. Now the reason I wanted to heal those two units is that ideally we want to concentrate our healing on the units that we want to be taking all the damage, right? I think sometimes these can give you... Do these always buff you or do they sometimes calm you down? I'm going to assume they always buff you, in which case I'll give it to Marie because Marie's our, basically our DPS unit. Yeah, it's a buff again. So that's going to last until camp, which is kind of annoying in the sense that, or for the reason that, we're going to lose it just before we fight the boss, which is really when we need our bonus to damage. A surprise at this stage is extremely useful 
because I think we can get a lot of good stuff done. This is a good start here. No one needs any healing yet, which is actually sort of the the off the common, you know, the the uh, the problem with having everything go first is that if any of these is going to do so much damage as to require us to heal, we're not going to get the opportunity. I'm glad that thing died though. We did know it was going to go first, or at least we had a strong suspicion it would go first because it usually does. Good time for a dodge. Means we only need to heal Brian for a bit rather than a lot. Uh, Marie. I kind of don't know <laughs> what I want you to do. What are you on? Seven. Let's do this. Put that blight on there. Do we need to heal here? Probably not. Let's try and get this one out of the way. Oh, not ideal. Well, it's dead now. I wanted it to not have this turn, but to be fair, it, it can have this turn, right? I don't mind that much. Is that a move or a stun? Oh, both, okay. Um, yeah, ideally, that unit would not have been able to attack Pete at all, but you literally can't win them all. Um, I think what we start doing here is healing the, these two are dead, right? That one's gonna die if it has a ghost. There's no point putting DPS on either of those. So what we do is we try and get ourselves into a recoverable position. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Involves Marie going first. Now we probably want to do this. You can actually heal everybody, which is really nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Pete alive. Two is not great, but it's some, you know. And then hopefully we'll be able to use Pete himself to keep Brian alive. We didn't bring any keys, so I'm not going to do that in case it's trapped and we end up taking an extra DOT that ends up being particularly heinous for us. Um, I wonder what Holy Water does besides increased resistances. Oh, that was pretty good. Uh, I wonder which resistances. So we might as well use one here. We found one, I think. I didn't buy one anyway. If only treasure could staunch the flow of I'm not trying to bring home stuff. Because it's a boss run, right? And we're doing much better than last time. So I'm happy to believe that, in fact, we got majorly unlucky the last time we tried. Just on those first couple of fights. A scout would have been great here, but it was not to be. Let's go to the outside. Um, but at the same time, I'm not going to avoid bringing things home. Because paying for this run is, only the first test. It is, it's a really good idea to make sure that the run that you do pays for itself. Having a bit of healing there is also quite nice. Um, otherwise, you're making a loss whilst you know, trying to actually get through all this. So these things are going to go first because they have such high speed. Stressing out Marie a little bit, uh, quite a lot. Hopefully we get the opportunity to de-stress before we fill up the stress. Hopefully. I'm going to take the risk that we don't need to do any healing for a while. <clears throat> and put these on here. And these are not going to die, unfortunately. But they will die before they get a second go. Well, this one won't. So somehow we need to try and apply damage to that if we can. Don't think that we can, to be fair. Stress heal plus iron. 25% prop. We want to pop that before we go into the boss fight. Can I turn on anything for you on? Yeah. A prot and a mark. So I'm going to have to switch the protection buffs on these two units. Especially for when the, the things are falling. So, right, what do we do here then? I guess we try and chop this one. Well, what's, what's our damage here? 9 to 18 on both. We can't kill that one. But we've got a reasonably strong chance of killing this one. Which I think is worth taking. Even though this looks like it's... Well, this is literally guaranteed, right? And it could actually kill that one. I think we take the... Yeah, that was a bit of a gamble, but not such a huge gamble that I'm worried by it. <clears throat> a bleed's bad, but we can get rid of it if we choose to. What's it for? Two damage per round. Yeah, I think we try and kill this now. And then we've only got the stress dealers to get rid of. Uh, in fact, we can. But this is going to go first. Ah. Just, just end it. Um, 
Oh, thank you. How did we get to go first? I don't know. Our speed is not that great. In fact, what's going on here? This is crazy. Um, I don't know. We just <laughs> got nothing for you. Yeah, stress heal yourself a little bit. How long does this last? Three drones? Yeah, three rounds. Everyone's gone first. Why have you not taken the turn? You must have rolled particularly badly. More fool you. Our speeds are really bad. Three. Three has beaten an eight. Uh, don't ask. Don't tell. Perfect. That's, that last round was the sort of thing that you can only hope for normally. There's an attack. There's a fight. We can avoid this fight. Which I think I'm going to do because I don't want Marie to stress out before we get to the camp. And, I mean, we could camp now. There was a Curio in there. Let's step back a bit. Marie, don't stress out about this. Of course you did. It occurs to me that this... I think this one can cure you of your stress. Protects you. Well, it's until camp anyway, so I'm not too bothered. I know one of these can cure you of a lot of stress, which is why I'm opening them with Marie. Uh, the fact that Marie... Oh, fuck. <laughs> the fact that Marie got the... Uh, the protection buff there. It's kind of neither here nor there, to be honest. Doesn't worry me that it's not useful. It could be useful. Marie could take a hit and uh, get a lot of protection as a result. We should heal someone. Yeah, we should probably apply a healing here because at any point that could roll for a zero. And at that point will be pretty badly off. So we've got this in the... We can't lose this, I think. Unless you miss. You can miss, but that one's dead anyway. I <laughs> love it. Bam. Dead as. Right. Keep going this way. That was an okay fight. Didn't expect it. I'm not sure... Because um, obviously we visited that place. So you don't expect the battle. Because you didn't scout it out. Not sure whether... There's just a high chance of... The battles that you get from a place you've already spawned being uh, spiders or something but we're lucky that it was I mean we've had it before that one time when I missed the quest item and had to walk all the way back through the dungeon in that walk back we did meet a proper party I, I remember because I remember being surprised by it not realising that it was possible to do so Murray don't stress out oh for f fuck's sake <laughs> Why did I come this way? I came this way so that that didn't happen. And you took one... One stress... Oh my goodness. You took one stress from that. Maybe it capped out at one because you only had one left. I'll, I'll agree to that, but seriously. There's no way we can get rid of this now. Circle in the dark. The battle so we feast on this. Won. Plenty of food. Brings Marie back down. I don't know why Marie is taking so much stress damage. I mean, we don't have a plus stress. Do you have a ru oh, ruins phobe? Didn't realise. See, those things creep up on you. You don't realise about them for quite a long time. And look, it's um, it's baked in. It's properly a uh, very deep set psychological problem with Marie. But plus ten accuracy for four combats. Yeah, we'll do this. Did heal some stress. Um, I don't really want to stress everyone out by just to prevent a nighttime ambush. It might be worth doing though. Uh, five is a lot to spend on that. All the resistances. We'll do this. How much time have we got left? Six. I'd rather use time encouraging people. Specifically Marie. I don't know what happens if you hit 100 again. I guess nothing. But we might as well try, right? Uh, no one needs healing. That, uh, we don't really need to do any of the other things, which is annoying. Ooh. You get 15 stress. Considering you've taken this 20% stress damage, 
How is Marie stressed out so much? I mean, they've both got plus 20% stress damage. Marie is a result of a quirk, Pete is a result of a trinket, and yet Marie has flipped out completely, and Pete's fine. So, it just goes to show how much the randomness of the game can really screw you over. Just like the last time when we ran away, because the first attack, we just couldn't tank it. We couldn't deal with it. Uh, let's do this then. And I think we do it on Brian. And the reason is that Brian can hit the two things at the front. And what we can do is try and bring down those pews as fast as possible. Because whenever Brian and Psycho are not moving around May we find trying to get debris. underneath the falling debris... That's when we need them to... No touchy. That's when... Oh. That's when we need them to be doing as much damage as possible to the things at the front. Okay, good. Moving on indeed. Let's just pretend that never happened, shall we? The light, the promise of Stashed Ireloons. Nice. Oh, you're stressing people out. As long as you don't refuse to take your turn too many times. We'll see. We shall see. Right, so those two are going to get tanked upon. So what we'll need to do is move you forwards too. I'm not sure how you determine how fast, how far people can move, to be fair. Uh, right, let's get this going on. Marie did take a turn. It is blighted. You move to here. It puts Psycho out of business. Somewhat. Not great. You can de-blight yourself. Uh, I'm going to have to pass your turn, unfortunately. It's fine. It's five. Five stress is perfectly tankable, as long as we don't get too much other stress. You will cue this with the massive amount of extra damage that you've got, and the resistances are great too. You dodged it as well, which is brilliant. Right, now we need to get Pete back into the right place. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Wait. There's only one, but you were complaining about it, which makes me worried. Two damage for one round. <laughs> I'm not even curing that. You can fuck off. Right. I presume you have a huge stun resist. Yes, 120%. So, yeah, we're going to do this. Keep just stacking up this damage. You're going to... What do we do here? I want Brian to go first, so Brian can be the one that moves. Oh, I didn't I didn't swap. Ah, oh, you dick. We don't have Holy Lance as well. We should definitely have brought that. Now I think about it, now I'm in the position to have realised what I've done wrong. Definitely should have taken Holy Lance. Te uh, five stress is fine. No, oh, that was one stress, okay. You... Can move here. Can't stab that. We can hex it. Like, I want to heal Psycho, but I can't. We have to leave Brian where Brian is, but Brian can cue from that position. That position is fine. This is like two damage for two rounds. It's nothing. Keep queuing. Right, that's actually really good because now every. Now Pete can reach this as well. Another dodge is ideal, so you can continue to do that as much as you like. So this is going to be awkward. Um, <clears throat> I should have checked where you can move. I didn't. I think you can't move backwards. So I'm going to have to move you. Ah. Now, there's no way of healing here. And it's super annoying. Excuse me? Get the fuck back here. Wow. <laughs> okay, I don't I don't appreciate that at all. We could lose Psycho, or at least put him on uh, death's door here. He's going to be passing a lot. I apologise for this, but you've got a lot of um, room. Why are these bleeding? Um, you've got a lot of room in your stress meter to tank the stress. Stunned. Okay. 
It's not ideal, but I guess it is what it is. 25 damage on there. Oh, I don't think you can eat in combat either. This is not great. Right. Okay. We'll see what happens. You're stunned. You can't do shit. <laughs> oh, God. Go here. Trying to get these people to move the hell around is just not working at all. Like, look how far back we've had to be. This is not where you want to be at all. And of course, I've completely screwed up the position, the, the skills. I didn't bring the right skills, you know? I forgot to set the prop. If we'd had prop, we might have been able to tank another turn here. Oh god, stop doing that. Oh, you dodged it. You fucking genius. Right, you can do your healing from the back, right? You can do it from here. Then you shall. 12 is enough. Stun comes off. You are going to beat the crap out of this. How can you dodge with that shit on you? Look at the size of him. What's the matter with you? You go here. You may be on death's, death's door. You will not be dead. And that's what matters. I hope you don't get another one. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That's okay. He doesn't get another go. We've got Brian. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Marie could actually have a go. That would be swell. It's just gonna be stressing everybody out, I think, which is upsetting. <laughs> uh. This is bad. So you do this. And then Psycho moves forwards. We just keep chopping it, I think. And hope for the best. Maybe we do this. Debuff it a little bit. Oh, it does damage as well. Ah, uh, resisted the debuff. I did note that it had a 40% debuff resist. Rather than just a you know, 20% it has on everything else. Another fucking stun. Can you resist these once in a while? We might have to leave. Oh, here we go. This is bullshit. How the fuck did you manage to fail 100%? And now the true test I might have to old fail. In fact, I'm gonna bail. This could have gone so well, apart from the fact that Maria's fucked everything up by stressing out from one fucking trap. We're leaving. A wise general does cut losses and regroup. Thank you, Wayne. Wayne isn't on my side, right? Rain. Rain. Ha. Wayne has completely understood the fact that you don't just let people die. You don't keep pressing through what is obviously a, a, f a on the road to ruin. You're going to lose all this. Um, that was a good party to do it with, except for the fact that there's so many things wrong with Marie. The plume... And the pistol. Um, that we couldn't get it done. There was no way of getting Marie and a curse upon us all. through all that without major stressing out. So what we're going to do... I like that party. I'm going to keep hold of it. First thing I'm going to do... Is get rid of this. We'll break this. Juices cost by 10%. I think that might be worth doing, even though it does cost us a lot of the things that we've been gathering all this time. Experimental Brings down the cash. We're back to 17,000, so even the stuff we found uh, is... Even the stuff we... Like, just from that run, the stuff we brought back, even though we failed it, sufficed. Um, and then... We're going to have to level up. I mean, I'm thinking maybe we actually want to try and level up one of our Vestals instead of Pete. And the reason for that is that there was a lot of spread out damage. And we don't really like that. And we want the guarantee that we can perform a heal. Obviously, Pete's range of healing was huge. But it was bigger than the range of HP that we had, which is too big. You know, we've, we've overcooked the pudding in that situation. So, we want to avoid doing that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to have to make some more money because... Actually, now I think about it. No. Do these... Are these all... Not leveled up, so there's more damage and look, look at that. 
There's your problem right there. Psycho was taking a shitload of damage. I hadn't done his armor. And people probably noticed that. People watching. That's fine. I'd like to look at Marie, but... Well, we can. Um... I mean, that doesn't really... Oh, the colour tells us. So we've upgraded this, but not that. Because, look. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it doesn't... <laughs> okay. I understand. Yeah. Marie is at the same level as Pete here. Okay. Well, I don't want to spend all our money putting these people in for treatment, but we'll do it slowly over time over the next few episodes. Um, I'm going to try and level these level 3s to level 4, and then we'll go out on a different mission, but uh, that's going to be in the next episode. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, do feel free to leave a like on the video on Facebook, on Twitter, anything like that, and subscribe if you want to see more, and if you don't want to see more, why are you still watching episode 59? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.